Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, so I tried this video once. It didn't work out. I scrubbed it. So here we are again, guys. We're going to try and knock out February's Monster Bass box. Um, I don't think I need to explain to you guys what Monster Bass is. If you've been following my channel, you know what Monster Bass is. You know what we're about and what we do. So without further ado, let's jump in. So like always, you get your booklet. These booklets are filled with so much information. Um, Rick, I'm sorry, brother. I don't know how to say your last name good. Rick talks to a lot of the pros, uh, whether they're Monster Bass Pro Staff or uh, professional anglers that you see fishing the tournaments, and kind of get some background on the, the lures, how they were made, why they were made the way they were, and how to best fish them so that way you get the best success out of them. Um, he's had interviews with people like in this one, uh, the lure that this person is widely known for. I didn't get it in my box, but right here we have an article with Andy Morgan. Andy Morgan is a strike King, uh, pro angler. And he was one of the guys that helped design the bait called the chick magnet, which is a, uh, it's like a square bill crankbait, except the bill, instead of that plastic, is made with the uh, microchip board, and it gives it a, it definitely gives it a different um, action. The crankbait itself is made from balsa wood, which is very, very buoyant, so he goes into a lot of details on the, who he got it from, who originally made it, uh, getting it sold to excuse me, to, to Strike King to keep producing this lure and then what he likes to use to fish it with. And, I mean, that's just some of the information that we got in here. Um, we've, or I guess I should say, Rick, here's another one from uh, Andy Montgomery, covering up his head there. Andy Montgomery, another Strike King pro this month. Uh, Monster Bass did a Strike King takeover, so everything in here except for one bait is coming from Mon uh, coming from Strike King. So a lot of the information he got from the Strike King pros. This one is Andy Montgomery, and talking about the Strike King Thunder Cricket. So I'll, I'll touch on that here in a little bit. Um, I think there was one more in here from one of the no, but like right here. Uh, every Thursday, if you guys tune in to the Monster Bass channel on YouTube, every Thursday uh, he does Monster Bass Live, and he has a different guest. Uh, I was trying to see if I can see this one. I can't. I don't see the dates or anything. But you've got guys like Alex Rudd, who is a Monster Bass Pro Staff, Brandon Polinick, uh, Luke Palmer, Mike McClendon, Greg Vinson, all those last four guys are all um, professional anglers that are fishing the professional tours. And they give a lot of great information and tips on how to fish the baits, especially the ones that they are partnered with. So a lot of great information right there. Of course, we have the chart here with the moon phases that will help you plan out your fishing trips. So that way you have the best opportunities to catch that monster bass fish. Let's jump into it. Okay, monster bass lure right here. We have a tungsten football head jig. This one is coming in at a 3 8 ounce. Um, I think this color is supposed to be called candy craw. I'm not really sure. Football head jig. I would put this on a good... Uh, Maybe 7.4 medium heavy or heavy action rod that you would fish jigs with. Football head jigs, you want to throw those out long cast. Long cast down there on the bottom and you're going to drag that lure back. Now, the way you drag it is much like you would fish a Carolina style rig. Once you cast it out, rod tip is straight out. What you want to do is sweep the rod either to your right or to your left. 
whichever way. You want to pull that bait with the rod sweeping it to the right or left. As you bring the rod back around in front, that's when you would reel to take up that slack and then pull it again. You're going to move the bait with the rod, not the reel. The reason for that, you want to make sure you maintain contact with the bottom. That's going to help you pick up uh, rocks, grass, is there any kind of timber or anything down there on the bottom, any stumps. You're going to be able to feel all of that stuff by making sure you maintain that bottom contact. So that one right there is a good choice. Uh, pair that up with whatever your favorite jig trailer is and you should be catching monster bass. Not every cast, but at least I would say every, unless you're just in the spot, every one out of four, you should be hitting that PB. So tie it on, give it a try. Uh, right here, we have the Strike King Thunder Cricket. This is the one that in the book here had uh, Andy Montgomery. This one is your black and blue, and it is a half ounce. Again, put your favorite trailer on here. This is Strike King's version of the Chatterbait, but uh, throw that out there. Uh, most people will throw it and then just wind it back in. You can yo-yo this also, kind of like you do with a, a lipless crankbait. When you throw it out there, let it hit the bottom, and then you're pulling it up. And it has just it has enough force to make that blade do what it needs to do to go side to side, getting that vibration and stuff, putting off a lot of action, helping those fish hone in on where that bait is using that lateral line by feeling that vibration. And either way you throw this, you can't go wrong. The only way you're going to fish this wrong is if you're not fishing it at all. So tie one of these on, put your favorite trailer on there, whether it's a cross style bait or a... Uh, boot tail, uh, paddle tail, swim bait, and you should be knocking them out also. Uh, right here, speaking of lipless crankbaits, we have the Strike King Red Eye Shad. This one, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this. There's some hooks in there, but also uh, this one does have a rattle. This one is my favorite color, the Sexy Shad. It has that uh, kind of a light blue color on the top there with that chartreuse line going across the belly or across the side there. Again, you can throw this one out and reel it in just like you would a crankbait, reeling it straight back to you. Or get out there, yo-yo it, yank it up out of that grass. Uh, I didn't notice this until I saw somebody else's video, but the belly on these, the way they're designed, with uh, there's a little spot on the belly that kind of flares a little bit. So when you're yo-yoing it, as you come up and it shimmies on the way up, with that flared belly as it's falling back down, it still has that shimmy. So you're getting double the action, whether it's coming up or going down. And usually on the fall is when you're going to get that uh, get that strike from that fish. Uh, this one is a half ounce. Uh, I didn't see anything in the book. I would say for this one, I would probably throw it on a seven foot seven foot to seven five medium heavy rod probably a, a six to one gear ratio probably what i throw it on and uh again just get out there rip some lips with it because that's what it's for okay and then we have here my package then kind of opened up on me i didn't even notice that but who cares got the uh, strike king kvd 2.5 uh, crankbait, uh, square bill crankbait at that. This one dives down three to five feet. So the 1.5 is a lot smaller profile for those smaller baits. This is the 2.5. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, I would say this one, of course, perfect for this time because we're about to transition from our winter to our spring. So the bait fish have gotten a little bit bigger. Uh, this color is called Clearwater Minnow. Clearwater Minnow. So definitely imitating some kind of a shad or maybe even a bluegill or brim but uh this one square bill you want to get down there knocking that bottom you know bottom contact uh that square bill of course it really good on deflecting on cover and stuff like that so you should have very little hang-ups but when you do hit cover let it pause just long enough to deflect off that cover and rise up that's when you get that bite okay 
Okay, now we're about to move into what I, my strong suit, I would say, and that's plastics. So right here we have a pack of KVD Perfect Plastic uh, Caffeine Shads. Uh, this does have the coffee scent and salt. That salt is to help get it down and keep it down in that water. Uh, with this one, you can rig this up on either spinning setup or if you're going to rig it up on a bait casting, I would probably tie this up on my same setup that I would for jerk bait uh, fishing because this basically this is basically like a soft plastic jerk bait. So I would rig this up using a, a round bend hook and still doing the same thing with the jerk bait cadence. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, one, two. Uh, just mix up your cadence. Like we always say, let the fish tell you how they want it. Do they want a fast presentation or a slow presentation? Either way it goes, if this is not in the water, it's not going to do you any good. So this bait has got to be in the water, but let the fish tell you how they want it. And that is a good way probably to catch numbers. And then if you really get in the spots, then you definitely can catch uh, big ones with that. Okay, right here we have the KVD Perfect Plastic uh, Opta Opt Super Fry. If you guys remember the French fry baits, that is basically what these are like. So I would rig this up Texas rig, Carolina rig, something like that. Uh, this one is the six pack, four and a half inch watermelon red flake. So like I said, I would rig this up Carolina, throw it out deep somewhere and drag it back using that left or right sweeping motion. And then Texas rig, then throw this out there, let it hit the bottom and drag it back to you, hop it back, flip it into, you know, some sparse cover. Great color right here, imitating, imitating bluegills. So this would be a great thing to throw. I'm definitely going to be throwing that. And then right here we have the Perfect Plastic uh, Rodent and the Green Pumpkin. This right here is great for Texas rig and especially if you're flipping into uh, some cover. Uh, this is a great flipping bait whether you're using a EWG hook or a straight shank. Um, again, the, the weight size is going to depend on your, uh, your cover, how fast you're trying to get through that cover, uh, how deep are you fishing? Do you want to get it down there on the bottom pretty fast or is it something that you want to kind of take its time and just kind of glide down through the water column? Either way it go, this one right here is perfect as a standalone bait or you could pair this up with either the Monster Bass Jig or the Strike King Thunder Cricket use it as a trailer um, one thing that people forget sometimes with these style of baits these uh, creature creature baits or beaver style baits whatever you choose to to call them uh, people call them beaver style baits because sometimes they have like a, a beaver style paddle right there in the middle those appendages right there Ooh, a lot of oil but you could also, if you have a punching setup with a punch skirt, pull these two appendages off. And now you have a very streamlined uh, bait that you can rig up with your punching rig with a punch skirt or as a jig trailer. And now it's very, very streamlined and it has slipped through that cover very easy and it still will put off a lot of action. Uh, just make sure that the two appendages in the middle, they do have a little tab that's connecting them that's from the mold make sure you break that off so that way each one of those flappers kick independently um, as always our monster bass stickers if you guys can't tell this sticker here the design um if y'all know who notorious big the the rapper he was killed years ago but he had a picture with this style wearing a crown on his head and that's where that design comes from so i don't know if that's Monster Bass's way is, you know, a shout out to uh, Notorious B.I.G. by using that picture as their inspiration for that sticker right there. But that is pretty cool. 
Uh, as always, you get your golden ticket when you watch Monster Bass live on Thursdays. If they call your uh, call your number, you win some kind of a prize. So make sure you tune in Thursdays, 7 p.m. And make sure you have your ticket with you to hear your number. And then you have a gift card to the Monster Bass website. $40 gift card is what I've got. Good towards the purchase of a Lunker Stick, which are those rods there. Monster Bass sells their own rods. So, Monster Bass has the total setup for you. Get you a monthly subscription box. Order you some rods, order some reels, order some lines, order your terminal tackle, and you really have no excuse to not go out and catch a fish. Not only that, this is a very good way to introduce yourself or others to different styles of fishing. If you're used to just always fishing plastic, getting this subscription box is a great way to introduce you to other style of baits. We give you the information to fish those baits. So it's not like we're just giving you something and then telling you, here you go, figure it out. We will give you the information to learn how to fish those baits so that way you can have fun but also catch fish. So that's all I have for today. Um, again, thank you guys for, for watching. Uh, the weather is getting better, getting much better. I should have went fishing last weekend, but I didn't. It was kind of a busy weekend. I am hoping to get out on the water sometime soon using this as well as some of my other baits, but I will be pumping those videos out as well as getting ready to do some local tournaments around here in Arkansas. So I'll get those videos pumped out if I ever get a chance to fish those tournaments. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe button, make sure you click on the bell so you can get notified of all my videos when I put them out. Make sure you hit the uh, like button, share the videos, and comment on them. Tell me what you guys want to see. Do you want to see more videos of me pouring my own baits? What other videos do you want to see me do on Gun Talk? And then what kind of videos do you want me to do when I'm out on the water? Do you want to see a video where I take my girls out and try to teach them how to fish? Drop the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will do my best to get that out for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Till the next time, see you in the great outdoors.